Over the past 48 hours, Israel and the United States got precise intelligence that Hezbollah would, loss, would launch their massive, massive attack against Israel for killing Shakur, the third in command of Hezbollah. They were going to launch it at 5 a.m. local time. This attack was supposed to target Tel Aviv with precision ballistic missiles, including rockets and drones to saturate the system. At 4.45, over 100 Israeli fighter jets went into Lebanon, and all at the same time, 15 minutes before this attack was supposed to commence, destroyed everything. There was no more ballistic missiles. No ballistic missiles were fired that night, as they were all destroyed immediately by the IDF 15 minutes before this attack was supposed to commence. In response to that, Hezbollah fired approximately 150 rockets and a few suicide drones. All reported damage, two people were injured, a few buildings were hit and destroyed, and some suicide drones landed on a highway. Hezbollah claims that they targeted 11 military sites and targeted more areas, though again, reporting states otherwise. The Israeli military, Israeli Air Force, com commenced a second preemptive strike on Lebanon to fully clear out this first strike. Hezbollah statement says that this is the first strike, which means that they are planning more. Ben Gurion Airport in Tel Aviv is currently closed, said to reopen 7 a.m. local time, which is actually coming up pretty soon, and the Israelis have been told that they can go to work as long as your work is near a bomb shelter. Everyone in northern Israel, from Tel Aviv all the way to the border, are currently under warnings to stay near bomb shelters and safe rooms. For the past hour or so, maybe even a little bit more, maybe two hours, there have been non-stop rocket and drone alerts for the entirety of northern Israel. They've slowed down now. Obviously, this is a breaking news story and things are constantly changing. But according to Hezbollah, they fired over 320 rockets, which means either a bunch of them were intercepted and the count is a little bit complicated, or a lot of them just fell inside of Lebanon and were not counted by the Israelis. United States President Joe Biden is said to be monitoring the situation in the Situation Room and getting constant updates though it's unclear how he's going to do that because he's always sleeping at night, to quote Joe Biden. Lloyd Austin has been in contact with Defense Minister of Israel, Yoav Gallant. Lloyd Austin is our Secretary of Defense of the United States. They, are in, they have, have had a talk after this attack commenced. Also, Israel had preemptively warned the United States that they were going to do this preemptive attack on Lebanon. Iran, Ali Khamenei, was unavailable for, com for comment. Apparently he also sleeps at night. Who knew? Uh, that's the situation on the ground. It looks like it's starting to slow down. The way notifications are not slowing down. It looks like on the ground, things are starting to slow down. There's no indication that Israeli troops... There's no indication, like I said, lots of notifications. There's no indication that Israeli troops have actually moved at all. They have been stationary, and it looks like it's only from the air. So any invasion into Lebanon has not commenced, as long as what we can see. Again, things can change in the next five minutes. We don't know. We will keep you updated. See you next video.